You know, those weren't the only fireworks on the Boston Common last night. As the tree lighting got underway, protests began. Chris McKinnon is live on the Common now with more on what happened there. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Bree. Well, those protesters gathered right at the gates of the Common along Tremont Street, and about a thousand of them spilled on into the Common, but police kept up a line. The protesters came to the annual tree lighting. They said they were here to make a statement. People here for the event weren't happy about it. A big crowd protesting the recent grand jury decisions in Ferguson and New York City makes its way through Boston. Those were Eric Gardner's last words in a video showing a New York City police officer taking him down with a chokehold. That officer was not indicted for Gardner's death. The protest spilled onto the commons where families gathered to celebrate the annual tree lighting. Police trying to keep out about a thousand protesters from interrupting the event. No disrespect to the children. But some families chose to leave as the protests got closer, saying the group ruined the family-friendly event. Go to the state house during the day. Don't do it when like the light in the Christmas tree. Like it's do you know what I mean? Because I seen a million mothers with kids that were like, screw this, we're leaving. The protesters surrounded the gates near the tree and congregated by the state house. I think everybody out here is making a change. I think every voice matters. Now, despite the protesters coming on into the common area uh, during the tree lighting ceremony, the event still went on and was not interrupted by that group of protesters. We're live on the common this morning. Chris McKinnon, WBZ News.